You burnt out already, Moose? Hey, what has got here? It's only day 1.5. So I'll put a little addition on to the uh, backhoe. Yeah, I'll talk about the backhoe again, or the Kubota again. Actually, I purchased it with the backhoe, but they didn't have it at the time. So I, uh, I installed it last week. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to try it out. And what it is, is the thumb. The mechanical thumb for the backhoe. So over at the mill, we pick up uh, lots of wood. Or we actually roll up the wood, if you've watched from some of the previous videos, on a couple of ramps. Using a, a cant. But I can. That's... Sorry, that was bad. Anyways, using a cant to roll it up, and I just use my leg to block it. It works pretty good, but um, yeah, I've got this nice big orange piece of equipment, and why not uh, why not use it, right? So yeah, this thing here is really nice. You can adjust it, as you can see. So adjust it. You can set it up so it's actually grabbing. The way it's sitting right now, it's just stowed in the stowed position. But um, when I roll a bucket down, you move it down one notch and uh, it will, it'll work perfect. I'll get some good footage of it uh, grabbing a log. I haven't tried it yet, so I'd rather try it first and uh, <laughs> practice before I film. Or actually, it would make, probably make really good footage if I didn't practice and clobbered another tree with the tree I'm trying to lift and all that good stuff. Yeah, so the property's looking pretty good. I got enough of a base on the road now from the other side, from the material that I've been digging up, that uh, now I can grab a couple of, or order a couple of triaxles of crushed limestone and uh, top coat this whole thing with that. That'll look good. And then here we go over here with the, where the uh, garages are gonna go. I'm letting the ground settle a little bit. I was going to put the footings in this year, but I put a whole bunch of material in there. So I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it sit and pack, park the trucks on there in the fall, let it uh, sit for the winter. And then in the spring, I'll, I'll uh, put some footings in and uh, start building the post beam barn style garage. Yep. Started uh, milling some of the, uh, six and a half by six and a half logs for the mill or for the uh, garage and I got some more to do obviously because that's not gonna it's not gonna cover it but yeah it's a great start it's a great start we'll uh, grab a few more trees and logs through the course of the next the next um, couple of weeks. It's nice this time of year to work in the bush. It's not uh, stifling hot. Yeah, driveway's looking good. We have this black loam top coat that I didn't remove and in the really wet weather, needless to say, the tires would just sink right into it when the truck's coming in or the tractor or whatever. So yeah, this stuff's really packing in nice. And even after some really good torrential downpours, uh, the worst that comes up is like like that, a little bit of black coming through it. But uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Hey, Moose. How's that tree taste? It tastes good? That dog is so brave. You brave, Moose? Watch this. A little bit of a noise. Oh, he's looking. Oh, now he thinks I'm going through the store of the stone. Watch. Watch. No, not too bad. Usually he jumps three feet in the air and does a backflip and runs away. Don't you? Hey. <clears throat> Gave him a little bit of a haircut a couple weeks back. Not the best, but it'll do. We got some deer trekking through while we were gone this week. Every time we go to the backside to do something, we come back with uh, a load of wood. And none of that wood 
and that trailer was from a tree that was standing. We have so much down wood on the backside, we can't keep up with, with uh, trying to clean it up and, and uh, catch it before it gets funky. But uh, firewood here is not an issue. I took down a couple of birch that were in uh, the trail for that because it's nice during the winter time to have some nice birch to burn. But uh, as you can see there, that's just stuff that trees had fallen and we're just cleaning up on the backside. And yeah, every time my brother-in-law or my father-in-law come to camp, cedar's a, a premium at premium where they are. So I always send them off with a little bit. And they, uh, they used to reciprocate by getting me impaired while they're up here. But uh, hey, that's the price you, that's the price you gotta pay. Sorry for that. You were looking into the stars. Carolyn's at it again. She's making her Carolyn's making her a fire starter. Wonderful box. fire starter. Mm -hmm. I've got cedar shavings this we, time. And we love it. Sorry for the sniffling. It is a little cool today. But uh, cedar shavings, old wax, as you can see. And a little bit of cheap wax that you buy at the dollar store. Emergency candles. Works great. <laughs> Carolyn used to pull the wicks out of them. Or, sorry, put the wicks in the uh, things so we could light them, but we found that didn't need the wicks. So the wood itself would catch. And uh, yeah, they work great. She should sell them and make me a fortune. <laughs> but. Want to go for a canoe ride today, dear? Oh, hell no. <laughs> hey, Moose, you want to go for a canoe ride today? Yeah. We got to get out again. Yeah, she is a little bit wavy today, but not too bad. A lot of you might wonder, um, you know, with this shoreline, do we swim here? Well, the answer is yes, we definitely do. Uh, we have water shoes. We'll go out there in water shoes. Just have to watch the rocks because they're a little bit slippery. But um, other than a few crayfish in the water, we just walk out and, and swim. That's good. It's really good. All right, folks. Day two of the weekend, got a bit of a different uh, task on hand. So at the mill, we have a few trees, stragglers on the one side, and you can see that we have the nice new thumb on it, and the backhoe. So what I want to do is clean up this pile, we'll get it elevated off the ground so it can dry and we can use it for firewood on the other side, over in front of the Kubota. And right here, what we'll do is we'll clean this up and take down a few trees, level off some ground, and maybe even bring in a little bit of fill just to get rid of the loam. And that way, uh, I have two clear runways beside the mill. Yeah, so my thought is I'll be able to pull a backhoe in right there and then pull logs from this side over to on top of the Yes. Hey. Project, project. A little rainy today. That's fine. That's fine. That's uh, what rainy days are for, is projects like this. Cool. All right, let's get at it.
I hope we're getting this guy on camera now. It must be the soft material or something. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, you're such a tough one.